Welcome to the Buff Dudes Backyard at Home Dumbbell Edition, Couples Edition, Family Edition. We haven't had a backyard workout in a while, but seeing as we're quarantined at home, we figured this would be the perfect time. So if you've got yourself some dumbbells, you're at home, well, then you can follow along. Let's do it. Yeah. We're gonna be using our dumbbell only program. It's a PDF, but as you can see, I've printed my copy out here. You can grab it on our website or you can just follow along with us, no problem. And if you don't have dumbbells, there's something else cool you can do. You can just fill up some gallons of water. You take some belts, you wrap it around. Each gallon of water weighs about eight pounds. So you can wrap two, three of those bad boys all around a belt and there you go. And if you don't have weights, you can always use babies too. They work. Of course you gotta make them. They take about nine months and hey, you got a baby for the future. It's all good. We're gonna be getting started with some goblet squats. I was gonna use the 50 pound dumbbell, but um. Do the squats, like now. We got, a, we got somebody who's pretty excited to be involved here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use him for this one, which you can if you happen to have a child. The goblet squats are a great introduction to performing the squats. The weight is gonna be in front of you. So naturally, you're gonna wanna try to bring yourself back a little bit in order to stabilize. You're gonna wanna go ahead and keep your body vertical. You're gonna wanna bring your hip crease just a little bit below the knee. And you're gonna wanna push through the midfoot right back to the top position. We're gonna be doing 10 reps. You ready? You ready? Oh yeah. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. yeah. Hiya. Moving on to the bent over rows, an excellent back exercise. And with this one, what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is you're gonna want two dumbbells. You're gonna have your feet about hip width apart. You're gonna go ahead and bow forward, flex a little bit in the knees. And you wanna try to bring your torso to about parallel. It doesn't have to be completely, but as close as you can comfortably. So what you're gonna go ahead and do is grasp the dumbbells. You're gonna go ahead and retract the scapula. And you're gonna go ahead and flex in the elbows, bringing it up to the top position. Oh, that feels good. Time for the drop set. Moving on to our third exercise, and it's going to be an all time classic the bench press. And this is where our handy camping cooler is going to come into play to get this started. Forming bench press is pretty simple. What you're gonna wanna do is keep your upper back and your hips planted firmly on the bench, or in our case, the camping cooler. What you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is again, retract the scapula. You're gonna keep your elbows at about a 45 degree distance from your body. You can go ahead and press up, lightly tap those dumbbells together, bring it back into the bottom position. I got my spotter, but uh, he, he's still learning. He's got a ways to go. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Oh, one set down, and uh, I think it's about time to go shirtless. Cue the Buff Dudes theme music. You gotta have a theme music. In fact, if you didn't know this, it's actually illegal in 18 different countries, if you're a Buff Dude, not to have your own theme music. So, cue it. Quit hogging the bench, brah. Your set's over, dude. It's like, you try to teach these kids and they just don't learn. It's definitely harder to work out when the sun is in your eyes and you have to have your eyes closed. That is very true, yeah. yeah. It looks like you're sleeping during your set. Have you ever had that moment where you close your eyes and you visualize yourself working out and you actually wonder if your muscles are being worked during it? Yeah, I actually thought about that. Me too. That's why, that's why we fell in love and got married. Years ago, it's really all me and Brandon had. We, uh, we hung sheet rock with our dad. Uh, that was kind of our, our job. And we would go out of town from time to time. And once we went out of town for quite a while, it was about two months and we were thinking to ourselves, what do we do? We don't got a gym. We don't really got much. So really we survived off this camping cooler, a set of dumbbells, 
um, cans of tuna and one CD with like eight songs. I think it was like all Tears for Fears or some kind of 80s mix. So it was not, not really what you would call prime workout music, but we got it done. And even to this day, it's some of my fondest memories of working out. So it just goes to show you that even though it may not be the ideal situation, it doesn't mean it's bad and you may end up having really fond memories of it. So as long as you get out there, get it done, you know, keep the consistency, keep the, um, keep the intensity and, that's what it takes to be a buff dude or girl. Buff dudes. Yeah. I love the passion. Moving on to the shoulder press. Excellent exercise for, like the name itself explains, the shoulders. Keep my feet about hip width apart. Ugh, bring the dumbbells up to my shoulder. I'm gonna go ahead and bring them into the top position. At the top position, I'm gonna go ahead and elevate my scapula just a bit. Feel a little bit more activation in there. Bring it back down. There we go. Whew. One done, I got nine more reps to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh yeah. Mm. He's my hype man. He just runs around with his beatbox. This is a banger. This is the hottest song of 1593. Ah. We are on to our final exercise. It's gonna be specifically focusing on the core, one of our favorite core exercises of all time, and that's gonna be the rollouts. When you're at home, sometimes you don't have all the tools or weights you need, and we don't have a rollout machine right now, so I'm gonna improvise. Can I borrow your pickup truck, big boy? So we're gonna be doing three sets of 15 reps. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was intense. Day two of the Buff Dudes stay at home, dumbbell only, full body workout, quite a mouthful. So today it's gonna be very similar to day one. Everything is gonna be three sets, 10 reps. Uh, I'm sticking with just one single weight for the dumbbells to keep it easy. You can do this inside, you can do this outside. It's a beautiful day, so we're gonna do it outside. Let's get started with some farmer squats. Got the dumbbells placed on the ground, as you can see. I'm gonna take a stance that's a little closer than hip width, only because it makes it a little easier to have the dumbbells go beside your body as you lift up. You don't want them to you know, hit your legs, hit your feet, what have you. So I'm gonna go ahead and bend in the hips. I'm gonna get down here, grasp the dumbbells, and I'm gonna try to stay as vertical as possible into the top position. And then I'm gonna go right back down into the starting position. And what you wanna to try to do is keep those weights at the side of your body as opposed to the front. So it's less of a deadlift where you're bowing forward and more of a squat where you're trying to stay as vertical as possible. You're gonna go ahead and bring your upper portion of your leg to just about 90 degrees to your lower portion of your leg. And you got it. I'm already feeling those, those glutes burn. That booty's burning, baby. Yeah. We've got our next exercise set up, and as you can see, I went with a little DIY redneck ingenuity there. Uh, this is gonna be the prone row, and what you're gonna wanna do is lie in a prone position. If any of you have played like a first person shooter, you're probably pretty accustomed to that term, or served in the military, of course, so. Prone, meaning we're gonna go ahead and have our sternum planted onto the ground, or in this case, a camping cooler. Oh, and the goal with the prone row is to have your arms in a straight position, just like this. So we're gonna grab the weights. Oh. Oh. 
Oh yeah. Oh, damn good back pump. And if you're looking at this and going, there ain't no way in hell I'm doing something like that, I don't really blame you. So you can always alternate this with the bent over rows, which we did on day one. Another, of course, excellent back exercise. But if you do have an elevated bench or one you can build safely, try out the prone, prone rows. They're a great exercise. On to our next exercise. And I gotta, I gotta check the stability real quick. So, um, I'm no engineer, but I think that means that it's gonna be able to hold my body weight. This is about the size of my apartment in LA, by the way. That cost $2,000 a month. Oh, okay, here we go. Incline press, three sets, 10 reps. That was nice. Except my apartment didn't have that cool slide. I wish it did, that'd be fun. Whee! Incline press, working on the clavicular portion of the chest, the upper chest, of course, having not as many muscle fibers as the lower chest. So you always wanna really keep that a priority. I know, especially with myself, it's a harder muscle group for me to develop. So I've always gotta use that priority principle training, which is, of course, making my upper chest a priority, which we're doing right now on my son's playset. Once again, getting a little creative, but we're getting it done. Hell yeah. We're gonna move on to our next exercise, and that's gonna be seated shoulder press. So, looky here, we just happen to have our trusty camping cooler. You can go ahead and utilize that. And you gotta be careful on this one because there's this handy little trap door here. It's for buff dudes who don't know the rules of being buff dudes. You sit there, you fall right in. That's how we weed out the, the posers. Oh. Oh. It's also where we keep our ice cold beers. As you can see, we're empty. Daddy got a little thirsty yesterday. <laughs> oh. You know, let's give it one last shot. Whoa, God, I'll be goddamned. Thank you, Broden. Mm. Feel that? That's the pump. It's Morse code. It means buff as fuck. We are on to our final exercise, and that's gonna be an exercise for the core. It's gonna be twisting planks. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the plank position. Oh, just like so. What we're gonna do is it's gonna be just like a normal plank, except we're gonna be twisting our right hip, and then alternating to the left. What we're gonna go ahead and do is 30 total repetitions. Oh, whew. oh, much harder than it looks. Oh. Well, that wraps up the workout for day number two. And I don't know about you, but uh, it's looking like it's about beer 30. So <laughs> stay buff, stay safe, stay by yourself. Ooh. And see you for day three. Put those down now. We are on to our final day. It's day three of the full body dumbbell only program. We're gonna be getting started with step ups. It's gonna be three sets, 10 reps. She's back. <laughs> so today you're gonna to notice a lot of these exercises are unilateral. And that means we're gonna be doing it on one side of the body before moving on to the next. And the great thing is about this, you can focus on a lot of muscle imbalances. For instance, if one side of your body is a little weaker than the other, feel free to throw just a couple extra reps on there. And it's a slow process because what you wanna do is just make sure you're aesthetic, everything's proportional, and you are a buff dude or girl. Yeah. yeah. Are we ready? Are we ready? Yes, we are. Yeah. Patricia. Up, down. Up, down. 
Moving on to single arm rows, this one's gonna be focusing on the back lats. And what you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is take a staggered stance, go ahead and place your hand on your knee for a base of support. And you're gonna go ahead, flex in the elbow, bring it up, top position, squeeze and hold for just a moment before letting it back down. There you go, pretty easy. Not too bad. And now uh, you know the day isn't as nice as it has been the prior two days, but we're still getting it done. And that's the great thing is, you can easily perform this indoors as well. Next up, we have the Uggin single arm chest press, another unilateral exercise. And this one is great as well because it's actually gonna take a lot of core stabilization as you perform the exercise. You can even keep your arm that's not holding a weight, really extend it outwards, just to, just to create a sense of balance because it is kind of easy to lose your balance a little bit. So keep your core tight, your arm extended, and we're working on those pecs, baby. If you're not able to do Morse code with your nipples, well, after this one, you will be. Oh yeah, single arm, shoulder press. I'm feeling it on that one. Yeah, you're gonna need some more core stabilization and unilateral. That's what we're all about today. It's feeling good, and now we're on to our final exercise. So you may have noticed my workout partner's gone and our audience has left. Sometimes that happens when you're a parent. Unfortunately, Buff Girl is now the camera woman because we got babies, we got kids, we got crying, we got we got we got chaos. <laughs> and that's sometimes what it takes when you're a family. You just gotta make it work. Honestly, not the most motivating workout. A little bit of a bummer that my wife basically had to call it quits in order to help with the camera, but uh we're still gonna get it done and she is still gonna get her workout in. So we're able to push through it and you are too. Let's stay motivated, get it done. On to our final exercise and it's gonna be Otis Ups. Strange name, awesome exercise. We're gonna be hitting the core and also a little bit of shoulder activation because what you're gonna be wanting to do is take your weights, oh, keep it just like this and you're gonna go ahead and roll up into the top position like so. Oh. Ooh. And if you don't have an additional pair of dumbbells, as you can see, I'm using my 50 pound ones to anchor my feet in. You can just do it with your hands. That works too. shoulders are burning, especially going from the single arm press right onto the Ozers ups. But that was a good workout. We had a lot of fun. The full body three day split is finished. We're going to be moving on next episode to the upper lower body splits. Let us know if you'd like us to cover anything in particular. Hope you are all well, staying safe, staying away from other people. And that's pretty easy for us to do because you know, we're, we're, we're a little hobbitish or hermitish. There's not much out here. I don't know if we're isolated from other people or if they isolated us, <laughs> one or the other. But until next time, stay buff.